and y'all are gonna be able to be the first ones to listen to the album. We can get up, we can start a conga line, we can do whatever we want to do. There, there might be tears. This is officially the Jonas Brothers, the album, track number one. Words, some, you were fanning yourself over there. Come on. The high note. The high note at the beginning. on this album. No, like, not, not one. Never. Uh, never. never. Man. That hits different. That's the, that's the Jonas Brothers, the album. You all, with iHeartRadio and Z100, get to hear this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nick Kevin and Joe Joe Thank you guys for an amazing, an amazing album. Round of applause one more time for this collection of oh, yeah. work. And your, your biggest fans in the entire Tri-Stage has turned the entire album, yeah. the album, and it's into, how, how are you guys feeling? Before anyone else, yeah. um, it's out for your die once. How, how are you guys feeling that it's complete? Uh, it's great. I mean, we've played a bunch of these songs live already, so there was probably two or three that you guys haven't right. heard. Yeah. But I'm glad you got to hear the recorded versions, because obviously that's the, the best part. Um, but thank you for, for your enthusiasm around it. Yeah. Do we have a, a, a collective favorite or favorites? Yeah. Walls, we had the Summer in the Hamptons, there were a lot of the girls that were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, we did a eyes. we yeah. did a conga line to Waffle House, so yeah. that's obviously. I love that. To get into the studio to challenge yourselves to knock out some of these new thoughts and ideas. What was that creation process like? You know, yeah. we started writing for this project in the summer of 2019 before we went on the Happiness Begins tour, wow. um, and we were writing, we were writing, we were writing. We went away for even before that, um, and then the world took a turn as well, you know, and so everyone had to kind of take a pause for a little bit. We had to cancel shows. Mm -hmm. We were just focused on focusing in on home, but I think what made this album special again is we are we found each other in the same place, right? Mm -hmm. Like, as brothers, as parents, as friends, like, a lot of the same circumstances, a lot of the same situations, but working with John, who was also going through a lot of those same things at yeah. the same time, I think it helped us bring, bring it all to life. So how is that saying that your fans are just growing and growing just as we all are? I think it's incredible. I mean, you know, it's uh, what's been really unique just looking back a month ago on Broadway and seeing, you know, the first album we did, for those who weren't there, oh, you all were there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the first night, you know, it was like, fans that were around 
15 years ago. And then cut to Happiness Begins, you're seeing little kids at the show too. So uh, to see that, you know, not only our fans have grown up with us, but also there's new listeners and our fan base is pretty welcoming. So it's, it's a, a special experience. Yeah, I think it's, it's a, a really unique environment. As Joe mentioned, you know, the, the, the fans kind of as a whole, not just the ones that are in this room, but, but you know, outside of the, the tri-state area as well, <laughs> and, 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 um, you know, are, are so welcoming of uh, new, new people. And we just, we're so grateful that, that people welcome new people in with such enthusiasm. And, and people that, you know, were, were there uh, with their parents who are coming back to the shows with their parents, but those parents now have grandkids that are at the show. It's, it's a wild ride and, and uh, you know, as much as I think on, on this specific kind of chapter of the journey, we've been, we've been doing a lot of reflecting about the journey that got us here. I think all of us can be more excited about, you know, this album and what it represents as the start to a brand new chapter. Uh, and, you know, I, I think the, the tour that we're going to go on as well, we'll be able to actually sort of do what we've done over the last couple months in a really condensed, let's call it two and a half-ish hour show, um, <laughs> which we're still uh, putting together. In front of the <laughs> yeah. um, but it's going to be a good time. You're playing at Yankee Stadium. Like, how? It how doesn't get old that? hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoe shows. Like, what is that like playing in New York City? Uh, I wish they would have let us do three, but I think yeah. it was booked up the third night. Um, it's amazing. You know, we're, we're, we're longtime Yankees fans, grew up in the East Coast, and obviously a uh, massive fan of, of the team. But, you know, they're really selective with who they let play there. Um, and it really was kind of a, something we stumbled into. Uh, you know, the, the, the five albums won, uh, five albums over five nights at Broadway, and then five albums one night. And I think we, we just really felt like that's the show we wanted to bring to the rest of the country and, and eventually the world. Um, it's really meaningful for us. And so to then build out the rest of a tour, a bunch of baseball stadiums, uh, circling back to a bunch of arenas that we love playing in, it just feels, you know, kind of like the, the right thing at this moment. And, and um, you know, we were, we were on the phone just before this uh, with our, our, our team kind of talking through uh, this week. and, and the runway of the on sale of the shows, the albums all kind of colliding at one moment. Um, and then on Saturday uh, morning, we're kind of off for a little while. So we're, we're not gonna know what to do with ourselves. Um, I'm, I'm going to sleep. No, it's gonna be good. You know, spend time with family, obviously. Um, but we're ready to do it all again. Nick, you don't hold back on the, the high notes. We love you. We love when we hear the high notes from you. How, how are you doing? How is the, the voice, the throat? The voice feeling good. <laughs> I mean, you know, John Bellion uh, is amazing, and we all will love him as an artist. Um, he's an incredible vocalist, too. So, yeah. you know, I think there was a natural sort of competitive nature to the process where he's saying something, Joe kind of tries to one-up him and then you know, just uh, steamrolls that way. But that's the fun of, of working with someone who we feel is like an extension of the family at this point. And then going from the studio, you guys are writing and playing and singing together, but then right before you're gonna go on stage to perform these on Broadway and that, what are you thinking? Like what's going through your head? Like, Shit. <laughs> really? Really, should yeah. we still be taking the phones? <laughs> Because we were, we were gonna keep, you know, basically do that phone check-in thing, yeah. um, so that we could keep the songs kind of secret and not be out there. Because you you want that first time people to hear it to be uh, the recorded version. Yeah. Um, but then we did sound check and it just felt so good and the vibe felt good and um, we were kind of like, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, let's just let me keep the phone. <laughs> and uh, it was the best thing we could have done because I think that. This music translates really well live, and and um, you know, it's a new day. It's 2023. It just when you feel it, just put it out there in the world, and it'll find a way to connect. And so that's what we were thinking. Yeah. And then also, we were uh, we were like, damn, these are really uh, hard to sing live. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk about it. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's definitely a beast of an album vocally for us, but it's also so celebratory. So every time we get to sing these songs live, it's like, you know, it's like our favorite type of music. I mean, watching just the growth, even lyrically or vocally for all of us, 
doing these five Broadway shows and so to think how we're going to do this on stage, it's like a fun journey musically. So we, we love it and, and we want to be challenged every night on stage, you know, give our all. You give us everything on the album. Seeing it all together, hanging out and being able to share it. I mean, this is a really special moment that you guys get to share with us. Thank so thank you, you very much. Yeah, for real. Let's give it up, guys. One more round of applause. The album. Thank you for being a part of our iHeartRadio album preview party with the Jonas Brothers. Two sold out shows at Yankee Stadium, man. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. The album in its entirety made me feel mind blown. I feel like this is the most sophisticated, mature they've ever sound. And I really feel like it's a culmination of all the hard work they've put in over the whole time that they've been together, so I'm truly proud of them. My favorite song is Little Bird. Um, it reminds me of my relationship with my dad because I'm his only daughter, youngest child. Um, I can't wait to share that with him and listen to it with him, sing it you know, with him, to him, and you know, just really experience that. Um, hearing it for the first time was overwhelming. Um, I'm so glad we passed out tissues and you know, I have waterproof mascara on. It's just an amazing experience. When they broke up, I never thought that I would see them together again as like all three together. Like I followed them on their separate like journeys and stuff like that, but to see them all together again, it's like pinch like it never gets old since 2019. Like it's just like it's crazy. Like all these people that I met, I met like through following them since I was 11 years old. So like to see us all here in 2023, it's just like a really crazy feeling. Like that they still can bring us all together. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.